Hey everybody, welcome back to the Speakeasy. Today we're going to look at and test this Siempre Exclusivo Vivo Tequila. Now, as you guys should be aware by now, what I like to do is open these right here in front of you so that wax goes everywhere. Wow. So you know that uh, I have not tried most of these before. Sometimes I I'll try this stuff beforehand and just don't get around to uh, making the video about it. But I was over at uh, my hometown liquor store, the, the Spirit Shop, uh, talking to those guys. And they happened to have a guy there. I think his name was Mike. And if that was not your name, I apologize. Um, he was, uh, I, I think, one of the distributors of this. And he said, really should try this one. I was looking for a good tequila. And if you guys know of any good tequilas out there that I should try, that you want me to try, put that in the comments below. Let me know, and I'll get out there and try to find those. I really want to um, not concentrate on, on the uh, bourbons and whiskeys. I want to get more into the uh, tequilas and the rums. So let me know what you guys think. So we're going to try this one here today. And I appreciate you guys tuning in. Please be sure to subscribe, like, share the channel with your friends. Greatly appreciated. Now, yes, I'm using a whiskey snifter, a bourbon snifter, Glencairn. I know that they make special types of small things for, uh, for tequilas and mezcals. I don't have those. And it smells like tequila. But it smells good. You know, I've always loved the smell of tequila. Sometimes they just burn the heck out of you, though. So give this a shot. That's okay uh, on first, first hit. Um, getting a little bit more of a... Uh, it's got a great flavor in the mouth. When I say okay, is I lost part of the flavor as I swallowed it. I think that, uh, again, I think it's got a great smell. I certainly cannot pick apart the, all of the smells that are in there, so I um, apologize for that. I have not developed my nose or my palate to determine all the different flavors and stuff. That's why we're on this journey together, right? But it, again, it, it smells great. It smells like tequila. It doesn't smell real harsh. It doesn't burn my nose. And it's got a, uh, that you could definitely sip this tequila. It's not, it's not burning uh, my mouth, it's not burning my throat or my chest. I got a little bit of warmth going down my throat, but um, the, second, the second sip was far, far better than the first. I got a little bit more. And I, and I have heard if uh, you open it, let it sit for a few minutes, sometimes it makes things better. At least in the bourbon world, that's what they say. So, heck, let's try it with the, the tequilas as well, right? I don't know what this says about flavors. Let's check this out on here. It says uh, nothing special on the backside. Batch one, bottle 1940. This is an exclusivo special edition Vivo, uh, but it's, it's Blanco additive free. Uh, wild fermented using the Mozart method, distilled with live yeast and copper pots, cut to proof without water dilution. So this one is 47.5%, so uh, do the math there, 95%, uh, 95 proof. Uh, so it's, it's actually pretty good. It's not harsh, um, but then again, just like bourbons and whiskeys, I, I really like most of my uh, proof liquor right around the 90 to 100 mark. Uh, you start getting way up above that. I start getting a little, uh, the flavor is always good typically, but it, it's a little too hot for me. 
But that's got a, a good smell and a good flavor. Not anything that I would turn down. I know that they had several different bottles there. Um, I didn't buy the most expensive one. I'll take another look uh, at my at my receipts and I can find it and let you know. But hey, if you guys have any of the tequilas and rums and stuff out there that you want me to go check out, please let me know. Put that in the comments below. Um, if there's anything I'm missing flavor-wise on this, if you've had this before and you like it, tell me what I'm missing. I'll try to uh, come back and look for those particular flavors. But thanks again. Until the next time, this is Scalper, out.